Alright, so a lot of y'all were wondering how I made the 3D tracking footage of some other videos, so I figured I'd make a tutorial about it real quick. So you want to get the Blender Geo Tracker add-on. Once you have that installed, we'll go over to here and create new Geo Tracker. You see all this red stuff, that means you need to input something. So let's go ahead and find our clip. Now we just click this Analyze button, and it's going to analyze through the whole thing. Now that that's been analyzed, you want to go ahead and add in your geometry. For this, I'm just going to add in a simple plane, and I'll select my eyedropper tool and select the plane, and press start pin mode. Okay, now that we're in pin mode, it's kind of hard to see our plane, but if you can barely see the outline right here, we're going to move all the corners to the correct locations. Alright, and then once we've done that, we're going to click this button to track forwards to the end. Now if you'll notice, it didn't, it kind of slipped towards the end, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're going to be on our end frame and we're going to realign it, make sure that everything matches up perfectly as we can, and then we're going to track backwards. Alright, now you'll see we can go through it and everything looks like it matches up really well, but just to be safe, you can go into the middle, you can realign things if you want to and then you can click refine and it'll track forwards and backwards from that point point. and then I'm just gonna go through and do that a few more times throughout the track to make sure it doesn't have any slip ups now that we've done that we'll go into scene position by geometry and select world origin and press ok let's exit pin mode and let's be sure to press convert on geometry to camera that way that it's our camera moving instead of our geometry when we press play you can see that it's exactly that you can go into camera view and it looks like everything matches up really well and now from here you can really do whatever you want i'm going to scale up my plane to be a really big and then i'm going to go into my object properties visibility whoops actually first i'm going to go into cycles gpu compute so i can use my gpu now I'll go to object properties, I'll go to visibility, and turn this into a shadow catcher. That way when I go into rendered view, you don't actually see it there, but it'll cast shadows. One thing I forgot to do is turn on film transparency. That way you actually don't see it there, but it will cast shadows. So if I were to press, if I were to add, see if I were to add a sphere, you can bring it up a little bit, and it'll play like it's in the scene. Now really from here on out, you can do whatever you want with the scene. Now that you've got everything set up, go into Compositor, press Use Nodes, and then import or add a movie clip. And in this movie clip, of course, you want to select your original video, so go and locate it on your drive. And then you want to add an Alpha Over node. Combine all this together and let's add in a viewer. Let's render out a single image. And look at there, now we have it set up to where the CG element is in the scene and it should all be tracked perfectly. That'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.